The morgue is the first place that people in eastern Ukraine go to check when their relatives or friends go missing. Not a hospital or police. They have come to expect bad news after five months of conflict. This is where we meet 70-year-old Luba. She came here looking for her husband. Polygraphiczka street is in the Kievsky district of Donetsk, where on Wednesday a bus and a bus station were hit by a shell. Here is another one. This one didn't explode, but the first was enough to kill at least six people. Luber was telling me that she doesn't want to believe that her husband was among them when she was invited inside. And the news came. <laughs> the morgue worker gives her a sedative. Minutes later, she asks us to help call her daughter to let her know. Seventy-six-year-old Nikolai was among 13 civilians brought to the morgue following shelling in the residential area of Donetsk, increasing the overall death toll to more than 1,400 in the region. Dmitry, the head of Donetsk's main morgue, fears that this number will continue to rise. 20 bodies have arrived over the past 24 hours. Among them are 11 civilians who were killed by shell explosions. Last week there were also many civilian deaths, and I'm not even counting the soldiers. On our way back from morgue, we see black smoke coming from where the city's airport is. The shelling has been continuing for many days already, but we've seen serious escalation in the last 24 hours. Later, we hear that several apartment buildings were again hit in the city center. At least one person, a European Red Cross employee, has been confirmed dead. It seems that the locals' fears are coming true. Marifnoshna T, Indonesia, Eastern Ukraine.